Hello, and welcome to another session of Doc Talk um, with Dr. Russell Jaffe, owner and founder of Perk Integrative Health, and um, medical anthropologist and bone health expert, Dr. Susan Brown. Um, and I am Jay Shri Mani, clinical nutritionist with Perk Integrative Health. Yeah. Dr. Jaffe, here's another question about now magnesium. So in the Perk Magnesium Plus Guard, we talk about ionized magnesium. So how can we explain what uh, ionized magnesium is and why is this so important? Well, it's so important because ionized magnesium is fully soluble. Mm -hmm. It's the biologically available magnesium salts. And the forms that we recommend are free of contaminants. So it's very important to understand that this is ionized or soluble magnesium because most mineral supplements are made up of a variety of ground up rocks. Mm -hmm. And there the minerals have very low solubility, very low bioavailability, and they're not ionized. They're precipitated. So we want people to know that we follow the nature, nurture, and wholeness approach to the point where we would use only the biologically ionized forms of magnesium that you find in foods. And this is the active form of magnesium that's used by the body? Yes, the body only uses ionized magnesium. The body doesn't use anything other than ionized magnesium. It must be ionized soluble magnesium for the body to use it. Otherwise, it irritates the body, especially the intestines. So if the body takes, if you take another form of magnesium, you have to ionize it yourself with hydrochloric acid or what how, the body has to ionize it. Yes, if we talk about the really healthy people of whom I know very few, these really healthy people have lots of stomach acid and they therefore are able to somewhat compensate for the lack of solubility in the grade magnesium that is generally available. However, as you know well, Susan, the very people who are low in magnesium are the very people who are deficient in stomach acid. Right. They, make, they don't absorb B12 very well. Their uptake of magnesium is substantially impaired because the ion channel, the calcium magnesium ATPase channel is inhibited. And so yes, it's exactly. Really, it's really important that we help people understand that nature's forms of minerals and other nutrients are safer, more available, and effective. And the work-alike forms that don't work are painfully expensive if you look at their poor bioavailability. Mm -hmm. Right. So, if you if you postulate you know a 20 year old person with perfect health they might be able to solubilize 20 percent of the ground up rock that is most magnesium in supplements so yes point well made except that the very people who need the magnesium yeah. lack stomach acid they have too much histamine and too little histidine and they right. can't solubilize the ground up rocks and by yes, the way, yes. the ground up rocks are contaminated. And so I'm not sure it would be a good idea if you did soluble it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. And, and Dr. Jeffy, for the person who's not familiar with chemistry, uh, can you explain to us this concept of ionization, the charge that the uh, L well, Ionization simply means soluble. Simply means soluble. Okay. Soluble. And soluble means bioavailable or bioactive. Okay. That's, now, that's really interesting to hear. The reason that we make such a point about only and always using the ionized forms is because other people don't. Mm -hmm. And unless you specify that you're talking about the recrystallized, ionized, soluble, uncontaminated form, which is all bound up in that phrase, ionized, you don't know. And I don't play roulette. And I don't want you to play nutritional roulette. So if it doesn't say that it's recrystallized and ionized and soluble, it's not. Because it's a lot cheaper to grind up a rock and put it in a product. It has, it has very little, if any, bioavailability, even in the best of circumstances. But it's legal. It's just not ethical. 
Right, right, so, right, right. So would you say um, ionized, and, or how would you say the difference between ionized and elemental? Because you do, we do talk about oh, the oh, elemental. Oh, oh, uh, excuse me, but elemental refers to the mineral in any form. So calcium is an elemental mineral, magnesium is an elemental mineral. What that means is it doesn't transform into anything else unless you go back to Kavrain's hypothesis that not too many people even know about. So when we say elemental, we just mean mineral. Or, or, or no, uh, technically what we mean is it, it, it is the building block from which other things can happen, but it doesn't transform into anything else. That's a little different, important to distinguish, but a little different. And, and, and the ionized concept in chemistry does not it refer to a charge that there's a particular charge to this uh, this molecule. Well, yes, we're in the category called minerals, and within the minerals there are mono and divalent as well as multivalent, and we're talking about divalent. Uh -huh, okay. Great, soluble, biologically available. Pure. Well, if you do a triple recrystallization, you should be able to improve upon the purity. And there, for those who are more technical, there are things called reagent ionized minerals. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are ACS high quality, quality controlled minerals. When we say ionized, we're talking about that. We're not talking about ground up rocks. We're not talking about chelates, which have their own set of problems. And we'll talk about that separately. But we are talking about the ionized divalent essential mineral, the balance to calcium known as magnesium, also known as the forgotten electrolyte. Got it. And we need to know how to assess if you are marginal or deficient in magnesium and it's the old fashioned serum magnesium test because 15 years ago, Lana Lean talked about chronic latent magnesium deficiency. Mm -hmm. And there's been half a dozen studies ranging from young college students in Sao Paulo to others that confirmed his hypothesis. And if you're in the lower half of the serum lab range for magnesium, this is an easily available but usually overlooked test. If you're in the lower half of the serum range, for magnesium, you have chronic latent magnesium deficiency, COMD, until proven otherwise. And you want to be in the upper half of the serum range because that's where the people who have enough magnesium in their cells are. And as long as you have kidneys, take more magnesium, not less, but take it in the form that is available, which means our ionized magnesium with choline citrate, no other form of choline, but only choline citrate to enhance the uptake and retention of the magnesium, and then deliver the magnesium to the cells that are desperately hungry for it. Yes, we certainly have found that to be very therapy, to, uh, very effective therapy to combine the choline citrate. So many people feel they have an allergy. I can't take magnesium. I get a loose stool. When, if you pointed out, it's a block to magnesium uptake. And we're in our practice very grateful for that because we see over and over again the people respond more effectively to magnesium with the choline citrate. Thanks Thank for you. that question. Thank you.